I set myself a challenge to draw my favourite Pokemon of each type with two rules. No dual types and no legendaries. Apart from one, which I'm not actually sure what age of legendary, but we'll see how easy this is, shall we? <clears throat> Let's go. Starting off with, um, well, bug type. <sighs> Honestly, this was a hard choice because I don't like any bug types. But out of the ones that I have, Volbeat seemed to be the least offensive bug type. I could have chosen Caterpie, thinking about it. I couldn't have chosen Weedle, because it's part poison. Uh, Fire was easy. Arcanine, ultimate favourite Pokemon. No matter the game, if it's in it, I will capture it, I will add it to my team. Even if it's literally right before the Elite Four when I have to train it up, I will still catch this Pokemon. I will still add it to the team. You might notice as well that the style varies wildly on these pictures. And that's because there are some Pokemon I have drawn loads of times and some that I have never drawn before in my life. Um, grass type. I wish I could have chosen Bulbasaur. But it's part poison, so I chose Go Goat instead. Gogo, I did actually use on my team in a playthrough of X, and it was a decent Pokemon, actually. Uh, I don't actually honestly use Grass types that much, but it was decent. It did the job. Rock was a hard choice until I remembered that this Pokemon existed. Lycanroc. I mean, <laughs> the weight of my heart, apparently, with Pokemon is make them a dog, and then I will catch that Pokemon, I will train it up, I will do anything to get it, which is very, very true. This is specifically the Dusk form, because although Midday form is lovely, the colour on the Dusk form and like the actual design is that little bit better. Fighting. Look, I wish I could have chosen Lucario, but I couldn't, because it's part Steel type. I ran into that problem a lot during this challenge, so I chose Riolu instead. Um, quite honestly, don't use it on many teams, don't use Lucario either, and uh, Humanoid's not the strong point. So, Water was an easy choice, it was my starter Inteleon from Sword, because... Um, I love him, really. <laughs> Inteleon is a great starter. Like design wise, it's really fun. And I don't normally choose the water types. I normally go for fire types, but hey, I wanted I wanted the spy frog thing. Lion in these was again easy. Uh, you can see there on the side my flying type, that was Corviknight. Because um well, couldn't choose Pidgey, because it's part normal. Couldn't choose Pidgeot for the same reason. Corviknight. It's weird how many Pokemon you think are one type, and then you look at them, turns out they're not, they're dual type. And, like, Corviknight is one of those, like, the flying type in general, a lot of them are normal. Or steel, or some other type of... Uh, some other type. <laughs> and it is really hard to try and find... A monotype flying. Ground type, I chose Sand Slash because I love it. I didn't really use it that much until a playthrough of what was it? I think it was gold and silver. Um or it might have been heart gold, soul, silver actually, to make it easier for myself. It was probably that. But ever since I did use it, I absolutely loved the thing. It's not a strong Pokemon. But again, I don't care about strength. Uh, <laughs> going through this dark type, Umbreon. Yeah. Come on, who doesn't love Umbreon? Tell me down in the comments below if you love Umbreon or Espeon more. Because the minute this thing was released, I just thought I have to have it. It's, it's, um, the design is so good. Dragon type again. Really difficult to find a pure dragon type. You wouldn't think that, but it is. So Dragon Air won this round. If 
just going through a few of the others. Sinisty for Ghost. It's a teacup and I'm British. That's the only reason I picked it. Ghastly I couldn't pick because part poison. I was really messing up the colouring here because I've got a new iPad and I still don't know really how it works. So bear with me on the colouring. <laughs> it's not fantastic. Um, but yeah. I mean, honestly, despite the fact that I don't draw Pokemon that much, this has been quite a fun challenge because it's got me out of my comfort zone. It's gotten me to sort of appreciate using references more often. And uh, it's really the largest project I've done since, I want to say, January. Like, done and finished since January. Because I've been so busy with work. It's, uh, it's a very busy time in schools. But, like... I don't know, I still need to, like, figure out a lot of things. I also did, obviously, Luxray up there. He looks like Cyrus. I accidentally drew a Luxray that looks exactly like Cyrus. And it's kind of amazing. <laughs> I kind of love it. Um, the other thing I found like, difficult about this challenge was simply finding out like the actual references, the actual like sprites or proper artwork, official artwork only, obviously don't use fan art. But I don't know. I really don't. You just saw Gramble there in the fairy typing. Do you know how many normal types turn fairy? No, neither do I. But Gramble honestly the fairy typing as a whole is another one like bug that I don't like <laughs> and that I never used. So, um, I just had to pick the least offensive one. Nidorino for poison, because, um, I love Nidorino. I love Needle King. I love Needle King better than Needle Queen. And not just because of the shiny, but also because it's generally a decent attacker, even though the poison typing is not the greatest. Again, I don't go for strength. I go for what it looks like, and do I like this thing? And the answer is usually yes. The whole point of me doing this, to make it a little bit more interesting, is not just watching me draw 18 different Pokemon, but it's also to uh, to make a team out of... Well, here we go. Guess which six I picked. Let's find out. So, start with my trainer. And then the next one we go for down here is my Luxray. I always have a Luxray if I can because it's a lynx or some sort of big cat anyway. And I love it. <laughs> down here then you'll see a shiny Umbreon. Did I choose shiny because of a reason? No, I just like the blue. Next to it you will find a Sand Slash. I tried to make these as... um true to their heights as I could, but I'm probably very, very wrong on a lot of these. Uh, so that, that's the first three. And uh, going from Sand Slash, we've got, if I'm right, oh yes, yeah, I know. We've got Nidorino. As I said, I love Nidorino. He is far more lanky than he should be in this picture, but I don't care. <laughs> Quite honestly, I don't care. By this point, I just wanted it done. Then you got Lycan Rock, the desk form, obviously. Uh, and I think erasing it this way is really hard to try and not to give away the other team member, but I think we all know who it is by now, right? We all know that I have to have an Arcanine on my team. Look at it. It's fluffy. It's big. It's the biggest team member by far. I don't know if I got that right. But hey. That's my favourite Pokemon team, right there. Right there are my six choices for favourite Pokemon team. And that's it guys, see you in the next video.